Hello, um, I promised to show a little bit about how we celebrate Christmas in Sweden. Uh, there's a lot of lights usually because it's so dark here. As you can see though, there's no snow and in this part of Sweden there's usually no snow for Christmas. Here's our kitchen with some traditional Christmas flowers and these lights that are a very modern touch of traditional Christmas lights that you put in your window at Christmas. Some stuff. Let's go inside. So I'm at my parents' house, as I said. So I can't really take any credit for the <laughs> the decorations, but I did light the candles. So let's see. Okay. Here, let's start here. Um, I had to do some Googling to figure out a little bit about Christmas traditions in Sweden because it's not very... Uh, like we do stuff and we don't necessarily know why we do them. So uh, this little row of candles is called a Adventsjustake. And you light one candle each Sunday leading up to Christmas. So today is Sunday. It's the Sunday before Christmas, so today we get to light all four of them. And here are also some of uh, these lights that you put in your window. Sometimes there's also stars that you put in your window and light up. Usually, more traditionally, there, I read that there's supposed to be seven uh, lights here, uh, representing uh, one day, like the weekdays basically, leading up to Christmas. Um, but these are a little bit more on a modern touch, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so I had to turn the camera around um, because there's not much more to show, to be honest, uh, Christmassy yet. Usually in our family, every family does it differently, but usually we dress the tree uh, in like the day before Christmas, which is for us is the 24th. Uh, so we don't celebrate on the 25th, we celebrate on the 24th. Uh, and usually when you have kids, Santa comes and knocks on the door and gives out the presents to the kids. Um, usually it's the dad of the family who says, oh, I, have, I forgot to buy the paper, I need to go buy the paper. And then, as by chance, <laughs> that's always when Santa uh, comes around. Uh, so uh, that's on the 24th. Another weird thing that we do on the 24th is that there's this TV program, which is basically the same all Christmas day, like the whole day for on the 24th, which is always the same. And one of those things, and I'll see if I can send me a clip. And then now comes my brother. Hi, Hello. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> uh, and I lost my train of thought. Ah, Kalle! Yes, there's um, this uh, TV show that comes on which is basically a Disney Donald Duck uh, compilation of clips from different movies like Cinderella and uh, the one about the bull and um, Snow White and a bunch of little clips and I think it's been going on since my parents was a kid and it's always the same except for one little thing that is uh, a clip from the newest or the upcoming Disney movie as a tease, basically. Um, and that's that used to be popular for kids when, you know, when I was younger, I guess. Uh, I don't think it's that popular these days since uh, cartoons and that stuff is available whenever. Um, but another thing for kids that happens during Christmas time and it starts actually on the twenty oh, on the first of December and then it goes all the way until the twenty fourth of December. And that's a kids show on the state's television um, that has uh, there's like usually fifteen minutes of a TV show and there's a mystery usually and and uh, something happens and then it's connected to these advent calendar that kids can buy. Um, and then they open uh, door in the advent calendar 
<laughs> I guess you can say. Uh, and then there's like a picture uh, showing something from the episode that day. So that happens every day uh, from the 1st of December until the 24th of December. Usually very popular among young kids. But actually, some years the quality of the, um, the show is really great. So I've seen two episodes this year and I'm at 30... One years old, a little bit too old, <laughs> but um, it is quite nice. And we also do on the 13th of December, um, we have something called Lucia. And I think I will sent May a clip of um, like just a screen recording on my computer when I watched it. Uh, so maybe she can put it in here to show what it looks like a little bit. Um, but that is something that I think only Sweden does. Uh, and it is um, Lucia, who is a saint. Um, though I'm not, it doesn't really have that much of a religious connotation, I guess, for Swedish people, except we do sing religious songs usually. Um, but there is this, this lady that comes in with uh, a crown of candles. And then she has like a, a bunch of... Uh, Vad heter det? Lucia Tärnor. Tärnor. <laughs> um, and then they sing songs and uh, it's really pretty. And it's usually super early in the morning on a, you know, on the 13th. Um, so if you want to go up and see it uh, live in like in church or somewhere else outside, you usually go up very, very early and I've never done it. Uh, I've just had to be part of one in ninth grade because that is a tradition in my old school that the ninth graders always do uh, Lucida, which was uh, fun, I think, as I remember it. Um, last thing, perhaps, is we don't call Christmas anything to do with uh, religion. Or Christianity, I guess maybe religion, but old, old religion. So our word for Christmas is jul. So we say god jul uh, when we wish someone a Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas. Um, and when I was reading up on it, it it's a word that stems from like before, um, before Sweden became a Christian country. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it's from the the religions of the Vikings, or before that, or after, I'm not sure. Um, so it stems from that, which is also one of the reasons I think that, for me, Christmas has never been, like, a religious thing. There's, like, my family isn't religious, but um, there's never been anything to me that is particularly religious about how we celebrate uh, Jubel here. It's you meet with your family, you change, exchange gifts, uh, you know, all of that normal stuff. Um, and I guess some people go to church uh, if you are religious, but most people, most people don't, as far as I know. Um, so here in where we live, like where my parents live, we will have a normal, like, fancy tree that is actually on the balcony. Um, okay, so that is a little short video of me telling you about how we celebrate Christmas here. Uh -huh. So I hope you enjoy that. Um, Merry Christmas, Guyul, and I miss you, May. Bye. Ooh.